talked about how there are a few things you're allowed to add to your code outside of the class definition. This lesson will introduce you to two of them. The first type is the global variable. These variables are defined at the beginning of the program outside of your main method. These variables are handy because you can use them anywhere instead of variables defined within a method which can only be used in that method. Declaring and defining global variables is the same as normal variables, except that you need to put the word static in front. Global variables are useful in certain circumstances, but if you get by without using them, it's ideal. Most programmers discourage using global variables outside of special cases. We need to learn more about methods. Methods, or functions, are reusable blocks of code with specific names. We explicitly call them methods in Java. They usually have one output value and one or more input values, but not always. You've probably seen functions in math before, such as f of x equals x minus 6. This function in math takes any number, x, and returns whatever number it's equal to, x minus 6. In the context of programming, x is called an input parameter, and x minus 6 is called the return value. Methods and functions can have any number of parameters, even zero, but they can never have more than one return value. We're going to talk more about this in our next video. See you there!